tree. Alfred, aren't you ready yet? It's almost curtain time. Patience, my pet. I'm just putting the finishing touches to an already perfect fizz. <laughs> well, how do I look? Oh, about as well as make-believe would allow. <laughs> Come along, darling. We don't want to be late for our last performance. Yes. Why? Well, 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 well. If it isn't our little underlings. I believe the word is understudies. <laughs> Whatever. We're very sorry that the two of you never got a chance to set foot on the stage during the run of our play, but that showbiz. Yes. <laughs> and uh, since tonight is closing, I guess you're just out of luck. <laughs> Pity. Well, it was very, very nice meeting you, uh... Marsha Hanson. Oh, yes, Marsha Hanson. It's a lovely name. Too bad you'll probably never see it up in lights. <laughs> Come along, darling. We don't want to keep our fans waiting. Ta-ta. Well, now what do you think of my idea? I'm only sorry you didn't think of it sooner. Come on. I'm home. Oh, Wendell! <laughs> Wendell, this is such a lovely idea of yours. A second honeymoon for us in Florence. Yes, and I was able to get reservations in that quaint little hotel where we spent our first honeymoon. You were? Oh. I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> but Angel, we must hurry. Our plane leaves within the hour. Oh, Yes, don't worry. I've packed our bags. They're in the bedroom. Why don't you fetch them while I pour the champagne? What a wonderful idea. <laughs> <laughs> I shall count the moments. <laughs> and I shall count the seconds. I caught it. <laughs> what are you doing here? Where's the prop then? Well, he wasn't feeling very well, Mr. Fronten, so I said I'd help out. Here's your oh, silk. <laughs> you clumsy idiot, I think you broke my foot. Shall I go on for you, sir? No, you wouldn't you like me to do that? No. Oh, that's my cue. Get out of the way. Come in, darling. <laughs> Here I am. Oh, window. I can hardly wait to set foot in Florence again. I can hardly wait to set my foot, too. Oh, darling, do you remember how romantic you were on our first honeymoon? Yes. When you carried me over the threshold, I leapt into the your arms. Was... <laughs> darling, why don't you go get your coat? All right. Well, I go over to the phone, phone for the cab, and then we off on our wonderful trip. I shall, dear. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, where is my wardrobe mistress? She had to run an errand for the prop man, so oh, I'm just helping. Oh, then give me my. Ow! Oh, 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 my. Sorry, Miss Murphy. Ow! You almost broke it. Is that my water? Well, she give it to me. Yes, so it was just sitting here, Miss Mundane. Yeah, guess it was just sitting here, Miss Mundane. Well, at least you're good for something. <laughs> That's lemon juice. <laughs> I'm awfully sorry. Maybe I better finish the play. No, you won't. No, you won't. <laughs> oh, Gloria. I'm coming. <laughs> oh, darling, I love you so much. Kiss me, my precious. I said, kiss me, my precious. Come on, darling, pack it up. <laughs> I'll get it. <laughs> Hello? Yes, sir. Oh, no, sir. Uh, are you sure, sir? Very well, sir. If you say so, sir. Who was it, darling? It was my employer. I'm afraid we'll have to cancel our trip. Cancel our trip, you say? Yes. Well, that 
tears. I'm sorry, my darling. Perhaps next year. No, I'm afraid there won't be a next year, Wendell, because I'm leaving you. Leaving me, you said. That's what I said. Yes. I didn't understand. Just a moment ago, you said how much you loved you me. You don't understand. Well, I'll explain it to you then. Our marriage has been one series of disappointments after another. Well, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of the disappointments, the misery, and the pain. <laughs> I guess this is goodbye. Very well. If my love means so little to you, then goodbye. I'll, go. I'll get my coat. I'll tell for the rest of my things later. <laughs> you would yeah, give me that coat. Oh, here, let me open the door. Never for you, mind. Mr. Funk. Never mind, I can get him a phone. <laughs> I'm on, I'm on. Gloria, darling, are you sure you won't change your mind about this? Wendell, I'm absolutely sure that it's a decision I knew that had to be made, and I'm quite confident that it's the right one. Well, very well, very well. If there's no other way, I'll just get my golf bag and I'll be gone. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Gloria. Goodbye. Goodbye. No, no, wait, wait. Wait, you must forgive me. I can't bear to see you go like this. Perhaps I was making a mistake. <laughs> You! Please forgive me when I said I would leave you. I could never leave you, Wendell, because I love you. Don't you understand? Rush into my arms, darling. Yes, my darling. I love you. I'm so happy. Oh, oh, darling, Gloria, what other fools we've been. I remember the very first day we met. You literally knocked me off my feet. <laughs> oh. And I know now, darling, that we'll never be apart again. I'm so happy. I'm so very happy. I knew that I could never live without you because you're the only one. Curtain! <laughs>